morning, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. So today got up, uh, it's 31 degrees, uh, close to zero for all my Celsius friends. Uh, we got a 22 degree wind chill out here. Uh, took the kid out of school and then uh, just got to my buddy's wood yard. So I met this cool dude, Aaron, about a month ago. I was looking for some logs. Uh, he got a hold of me on Facebook, said he could supply me with some logs. And if you watch some of the other videos, uh, we've been buying logs from him for about the last month. I think we've got three or four three or four loads, nothing big. Um, but uh, when we first met, I saw he had a Easton made 1222 or 1228, I can't remember, sitting over here at his wood yard. So we've been talking about splitters and he knows I want to buy something a little newer, um, probably brand new here in the near future. And uh, if I can't use it, at least I can have it, right? But uh, he said, hey, the last time I picked up a load of logs, he said, hey, I'm renting a processor next week. If you're not doing anything, stop on over, take a look at it. He goes, uh, I think it's a Dyna processor. We just got to his yard here, so I haven't even been over to see it yet. But it's a Dyna processor, and he goes, I'm going to have somebody else running my Easton made kind of as a re-splitter. Uh, he says, so feel free, stop on over, check it out, give you something to do. So um, since I've had the whole arm surgery thing, there's not a whole lot I can do. In this last week, uh, I really didn't even get out of the house, to be honest. Uh, I think I ran to my dad's once. Uh because I had a farrier appointment uh, for kiddos horses and then I went to lunch once with my mom and stepdad and aunt and uncle but other than that pretty much been hanging out at the house um, you know there's so much stuff I want to be doing right now but I can't um, so I thought you know if I can't be you know doing firewood myself might as well stop out here and see how these guys do it uh, Aaron is an awesome operator he's got a cat 259d I've never seen anybody spin one of those around uh, with a load of logs like he does but uh, Dad and I made the 40 minute run over here this morning. We're gonna go check that out. Um, and I've never seen a processor in person. So um, from what I have read, a lot of these processors, you're still gonna need to re-split uh, every once in a while. So I'm gonna see how efficient these are. Um, I can't remember the Dyna model this is, like I just said, but I'll let you know when we get over there. Um, and just since we've been here in five minutes, he's already come over and grabbed two more grapple bucket loads of logs. So let's uh, head on over there and see what this looks like.
Well, that was definitely a very cool experience. Huge shout out to Aaron. Man, thanks for letting Dad and I come out there and take a look at what you had going on. It was very nice meeting your brother. Two very hard working guys, that is for sure. Um, we weren't there very long. I know those guys are renting that machine. They're paying good money to have it. So um, I didn't want to be in their hair too long. But hey, they said, hey, we're going to go to work. If you want to film it, film it. Um, and it was cool just to watch and see how that stuff operated and then get a chance to talk to those guys. That was awesome. I realized a couple things today by watching that. Number one, um, watching that Easton made log splitter, that the power that thing has, you just don't understand it from watching uh, the videos. Um, I, lot, I watch a lot of Andrew Easton's videos and uh, just the power that thing has, it, it just no matter what you threw in there, and granted those aren't huge chunks, but uh, from what I'm used to, you know, kind of your big box store splitters, that thing is impressive to say the least. Um, and that was a 1222. Um, but uh, it's definitely been used, but it's uh, that's one hell of a machine right there. Um, next thing I want to go over is the processor. That was a Dyna SC14. Um, also a very impressive machine. Um, towards the end of the clip there, um, he Aaron threw on a log there, and then he was like, man, I don't know if that's going to go through that processor. I might have to pull that one back off. So they pulled out the tape measure. Um, from what I found online, looking at it, that's kind of designed around, you know, 14 inch logs. Um, and uh, that one he threw on there, that large one was 17 and a half, no matter which way you measured it. It was pretty round with 17 and a half inch log and it went through it. Um, problem is with the SC14, it doesn't seem to have enough power to split that through a six way wedge. Uh, that was equipped with a four way wedge today. Um, it also the guy who owns it also provides a six-way wedge and it just wasn't Aaron said from running it in the past and this isn't their first time running that machine that's pretty obvious those guys knew what they were doing but um, he goes a six-way won't push wood through this the machines nice it's just a little underpowered but uh, the saw came down no issues feeding that 17 and a half inch log through there so really really cool machine um, I looked those up online you can buy used ones for um, around twenty, twenty-two thousand uh, dollars. I saw one of them had like six hundred and eighty hours. I don't think that's a lot of hours on a machine like that, but uh, definitely a cool piece of equipment. Um, from what I read online from their website today, from Dyna, um, that's kind of their smaller machine. And like I said, that one was upgraded. That the Aaron had today uh, appeared to be upgraded with the Cat Diesel. Um, and a few other options that now for 2021 are considered standard. If you're going to buy that machine new, uh, according to the website, the SC14 is going to run you exactly $50,000, which is a ton of money. Um, I stress out over spending $8,000 on um, you know, a commercial grade sp splitter, whichever one we decide to go with. Not even as a business expense, but as a homeowner who's going to burn a lot of wood in the future um, and then you know hopefully get back into selling it here and there um, the, the big box store machines just can't keep up that's just uh there's no and uh, and ifs or buts about that and my wife was actually the one pushing that we need a new splitter um, i'm very thankful for the one we have uh, it was given to us for free i threw a 400 dollars new briggs on it uh, and we were good to go another thing that kind of caught my attention today was the realization that an elevator or conveyor whatever you guys want to call them um man that thing does a lot of work uh if you watch the end clip there when he when his brother was splitting it off of the easton made splitter it just kind of goes in there you know and a lot of guys will just hook up the machine the splitter to a side-by-side -side tractor skid steer whatever move it back and just keep making a pile that's you know four foot tall and just kind of keep working your way back um if i'm not mistaken the sc14 I believe had a 12 foot conveyor on it from what I read um, standard now in 2021 is a 14 footer oh excuse me so pretty cool um, you know I've been looking at these conveyors online and I think they can save a lot of time I'm um, reading more and more on these forums and the Facebook pages that a lot of guys just let their wood dry in big piles like that um, what I was doing, you know, stack or splitting and then stacking into IBC totes is a great idea. But if I'm going to do that, 
Um, I plan on having at least 100 IBC cages, um, firewood cages, and just letting the conveyor fill them up, move them with the tractor, put another one in. Um, and if you guys watch any of the videos or do any of the research, they say at 16 inches, if it's just thrown in there, um, your standard IBC tote 250 slash 275 gallon, it's gonna hold about a quarter of a cord. If you take the time to cut out the front and stack it in there real neat, you can get about a third of a cord. So, um, you know, you're losing, I mean, you're losing a basket every cord, but uh, for me, I think it'd be worth it. And that's something that uh, Aaron and I talked about today. Um, the less that you have to handle that firewood and move it and restack it, the more money you're making in the long run because it's less hours out of your time. But very cool machine. Um, that big pile that you saw there, that was with those guys working just a little bit over an hour. Um, and I don't know, estimating, I'm gonna guess there's two cords there, maybe a little more. Um, that's a lot of firewood. That pile was um, a good eight feet tall, seven, eight feet tall, maybe a little higher. Um, but yeah, cool, cool experience today to check that stuff out. Um, I hope in 2021 that they have the Paul Bunyan show because I think it would be really cool to make a weekend out of it. Go down there, check that stuff out see these big machines in person. If I was that impressed with a little Dyna SC14, I can't imagine what it would be like to watch these huge processors go to work. Um, so I don't ever want one of those. I don't ever want to get that big and selling firewood. Um, I don't think around here you can make a lot of money selling firewood. But my thing is if I can sell enough to cover my own expenses, I'm heating my house for free. So that's kind of the way we look at it. But all right guys, um, that's gonna wrap up this video. Uh, I got some more errands to run here, actually in a line right now, traffic. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, videos like this coming back out. Um, it just sucks, guys. I was hurt, and I can't do a lot of the videos that a lot of people are asking for, you know, more log, um, log videos and firewood videos and doing stuff outside. It's just not possible right now with the condition my arm's in. Um, and that's a whole battle in itself, um, dealing with that. So thanks for the continued, uh, support. Thank you for the prayers. My family and I really appreciate it. And again, big shout out to Aaron and his brother. You guys are some hardworking dudes and thank you very much for letting us come out. We'll catch you later.